Hi, my name's Sharon Walters and I'm an artist and educator. I am working with the hospital rooms to deliver a series of workshops. They, this particular workshop will explore identity. So you will be creating your own collage. We will be exploring texture, colour and pattern. And um, yeah, I've been creating the Seeing Ourselves series now for the last three years. I absolutely love creating the work. I started creating the work because basically I didn't feel as though I saw myself represented in arts and heritage. I didn't see myself represented back at me when I went to museums and galleries and basically lots of spaces. So um, yeah, I started creating this work. It's really helped my self-confidence. It's really given me a sense of belonging and I, I feel really passionate about sharing this work with you. So I think we should get started. I find that creating the work actually gives me um, some headspace. It gives me some time to reflect. It helps me to slow things down. And I'm hoping that this workshop will give you the same kind of feeling. So what I've got here is an outline, um, a silhouette of a woman. Uh, I also have some beautiful patterns patterned paper <laughs> and I have some floral prints as well. You might at home or wherever you are at the moment you may have some um, magazines and I really want you to just kind of just let things flow. Look at what feels intuitively uh, that you intuitively respond to, what, what you connect with. So have a flick through the magazines um, so, for example, if I look here, I absolutely love um, bluebells. <laughs> so I'm going to just tear out this little section of bluebells here. Okay. So you might just want to start by just pulling out some bits and pieces that you connect with. So what do you like? Just think about what you like. The best thing about this workshop and about collaging generally is that it really doesn't matter. There are no mistakes. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. It's just about what feels right to you. Um, that's been really, really helpful for me over the last few years. Because I feel as though quite often, just going to tear this bit out, quite often there are so many rules um, and ways of doing things. There are so many barriers to feeling as though you don't um, belong or that you, you're not doing things right. So yeah, just maybe, just look at some textures. So I really like the, well, I love this image. <laughs> I'll show you that there. Um, but I really, really love the, the pattern here. And because we're going to be, um, we're going to be gluing different sections together. You can just layer um, different textures and patterns and colours and just see what works. I tend not to glue until the last minute, so I like positioning everything and seeing what works visually for me. I quite often, I don't often tell people this, but I quite often um, lay everything out and then I take a photo and I, t I lay them out in different kinds of ways and then take photos and um, see which one works the best. I really like this one actually. So I'm gonna get started with just tearing out tiny sections. More recently, my work has included the use of, um, of made, use, made use of scalpels. But for this, we're just going to be tearing. And it's really interesting that this is actually the, the way this series started, it was working in this way. And you can tear as, t as small as you like. It doesn't need to be really big sections. You can take a really long time creating these pieces. Okay. What I find is that sometimes when you've started to build up the different layers and the different um, textures, you might just want to squint your eyes slightly so you can get a kind of blurred image. Um, it helps me to see which pieces can maybe imitate the, the look of an eye, for example. 
or you might want a slightly darker section for the hair. So as much as I liked this, um, this pattern at the beginning, I now don't think it works with that. We'll lay it down, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. And I've also got some photos, some printed photos um, of pictures that I've taken. So I'm constantly taking photographs. I'm really obsessed with taking photographs, actually. But I think it's a good, healthy obsession, so I'm happy to go with it. I love the colour purple. And it's quite often used to signify, um, to signify royalty. <laughs> so as we're looking, as you're looking at um, the different colours and patterns and textures, think about how it might represent you, maybe where you are at the moment, how you're feeling at the moment, or how you might want to feel in the future. And with this work, you don't need to communicate what it means to anyone else. It can literally just be for you. So as you can see, I'm starting to build up these sections. You might also, if you have a ruler, you might want to maybe fold. Just think about the types of shapes that you want to use. Just move that here. So you might want to fold and rip to create straighter lines. Really give yourself time to play because you might actually feel like just layering different strips. For me, this work is about the process. It's about the process of being still and reflective. I definitely don't like this. It's going. Um, being still and reflective and just trusting your own intuition. And when you're ready, you can just start gluing. But try not to judge yourself during this process. Just go with what feels right. Whatever happens at the end, happens at the end. If you create a picture that you're super proud of, that's great. But really, it's about... Connecting with a bit of um, relaxation. Okay, so I'm going to carry on gluing these. Um, well, I'm going to carry on cutting these pieces and then I'm going to glue them. And yeah, if you carry on and do the same, that would be great. Thank you so much for joining me for this workshop. I hope you've really enjoyed just seeing a little sneak peek into my, um, into my practice. Um, and I hope you'll continue and just give things a go. Thank you so much.